And Connor, we're going to get our own uh, batch of rain here, huh? We are from that same system. It's not going to be anything like what they're expecting. But yeah, we are expecting some rain. And let's talk about when. Uh, first, let's talk about that steady stream of moisture you see there off the west coast and into northern Nevada, just dumping buckets of rain over that area. Now, here we go a little bit farther to the Pacific Northwest. There's that storm that's going to be moving in and bringing additional showers into those areas and also going to kick in the moisture in our direction. But this is a very large, very organized storm. Uh, so we're going to have to keep an eye on it, not only, again, for our area, but for northern Nevada. Here's our satellite radar composite. You can see a lot of cloud cover out there, but that those little blips that you see are just very high level moisture. So as we move into tonight, still just cloud cover. All the precipitation is going to be out to our west. Once we get into the early morning hours, that is when parts of town could start to see maybe a few sprinkles around town. But then once we head into the morning, you want to keep this in mind because this will affect your morning commute. 5 a.m. once we get into the 6 o'clock hour, I think that is when the chances for rain will start to spill into the Las Vegas Valley. That includes 7 o'clock into the 8 o'clock hour. The model's not indicating it covering the whole valley, but trust me, it will. Uh, there is 8 o'clock, and then at the 9 o'clock hour, things really start to diminish, and in fact, by lunchtime, it just wipes everything out. So the key times will be in the morning hours, and here they are for you. 5 a.m. will have slight chances for rain, but these this is the window right here, 6, 7, and 8 o'clock hour. That's when we're expecting to see the heaviest showers and temperatures around the 50 degree mark, so not terribly cold at that time. Also keep in mind that as this storm passes through, we're going to see some wind. A wind advisor is in effect just for the spring mountain range, and that goes all the way through 6 o'clock tomorrow. They could see gusts in excess of 50 miles per hour here in town. It's going to be more of a nuisance wind. We're going to be on the lower end of the windy category with a gust to about 35 miles per, per hour from late morning to about 4 o'clock tomorrow in the afternoon. Once we head into the evening hours, I think we're going to be down into the breezy category. 49 overnight, so quite mild. Uh, for this time of year, 48 in Anthem, 49 in Henderson as well. Then as we head uh, to tomorrow, temperatures actually won't be quite as bad. We're going to see a clearing of those clouds as we head into the afternoon hours. So here's your 13 first alert seven day planner. A lot to talk about rain in the morning, fairly mild temperatures. Then on Tuesday, breezy winds. We're going to be in between systems on this day. Once we head to Wednesday, the winds picking up with another system that's going to start to move into the area. Notice does it knock a whole lot uh, off of temperatures, but it does bring us down to the mid 50. That's closer to where we should be for this time of year. Still breezy on Thursday and we could see slight chance for rain uh, on that day that's going to clear out by Friday. However, we're going to keep shaving a couple of degrees off temperatures to finish off the work week 53 on that day. And and then luckily, lighter winds, more sunshine for the weekend, 56 on Saturday. And then we even see a little bit of a warm up to Sunday closer to that 60 degree mark, Chris.